Lewis Rees Zamet is going to the NFL, or he's going to try to as he joins the international player pathway and will not be playing rugby union for the foreseeable future. He's not in Warren Gatland's Wales squad. I thought that was going to be the big news for Wales today, but this is far bigger for Wales and for world rugby. Lewis Rees Zamet has left his club, been released by Gloucester from his contract and not to take up a big money offer in France that people were thinking he would go and do with his, with his next rugby deal. No, it's to go and join the international player pathway to try and become an NFL superstar. So much to talk about on this video. And I want to know what you think in the comments down below. I'm Tim. This is Egg Chasers. I did not see this coming whatsoever. I found out about it because a friend of mine in a WhatsApp group I'm in, um, he posted a link to the story and just wrote, rugby is, and I won't repeat the word he used, but it wasn't a positive one. And he's a Welshman. He's obviously gutted. I understand why fans of Wales are shocked not to see his name on that Six Nations list. I understand why they will be thinking this is a hammer blow for Welsh rugby. But if you can step back from that a little bit, I don't see the negativity which seems to be surrounding this story and people thinking this just shows how bad rugby is and where it's at. I see the, the positives in this because, as I will come on to on this video, the chances of Lewis Rees Samet making it in the NFL are remote. They are remote. And I'll put that in context in a little bit. What we've got here is a great opportunity to spread the word of Rugby Union with one of our brightest young talents and a great character and a good bloke. And he could bring back with him to Rugby Union when he comes, probably in a couple of years, maybe just before the 2027 World Cup, he could bring back with him an army of new Rugby Union fans from around the globe. And last night was the premiere for the Six Nations full contact documentary series on Netflix. And I would have that film crew going straight out to America to follow Lewis Rees Summit around on his quest to become an NFL star because, yeah, he is a superstar of the sport. And I honestly think we will see him again playing rugby union. This could be a massive boost for the sport. For, for Lewis Rees Summit, it's an amazing experience. And just to put it in context, because a lot of people have sort of thought, why is Lewis Rees Summit doing this? Is it all about the money? I don't think it's all about the money. The guy's 22, he's already achieved so much. He's got the opportunity to go and try his hand at something else. But just on the finances, if he makes it to an NFL roster, the 53-man active roster that that all suit up and go and stand on the sideline during games in the NFL, if he makes it onto one of those 53-man squads, he will earn, in his first year, $750,000 for that 18-week season. His second season would be $870,000, and it would be just shy of a million dollars a year in his third season. So the the potential to earn multiples of what he can earn as a rugby union player is there because those are the lowest amounts of money that NFL players make. Even if he's on the inactive list, which is basically like your squad players that aren't don't suit up on a Sunday to play, but they're just there in the squad training and there in case someone gets injured, he would get $430,000 a year. And if he's in the practice squad, which is basically people that they just keep there in case they have backups that they need to bring in and just as like a backup to the backup, uh, he would get $11,500 per week for an 18 week season, meaning in less than six months, he would earn $200,000. So he's going to be all right because he will more than likely get a practice squad spot because the international player pathway, and this is what happened with Christian Wade, and I'll come on to him in a minute. Uh, he, uh, clubs or franchises, sorry, get an extra spot on their practice squad if they pick an international player pathway player. So effectively, it's a free spot for them. And Lewis Rees would earn a very nice amount of money for that effort. More's the point, he will go and experience something completely different. I, I mentioned he's 22 years of age, almost 23. He's already been to a World Cup. He's been on a British and Irish Lions tour. He's got 30 caps for Wales. And the, the other option, if he stayed in rugby union right now, is that he would probably more than likely go to a French side. There was talk of him going to Japan, but I think most likely he would end up at a French team where he'd be paid very, very well. Don't get me wrong. He'll be handsomely rewarded, but that is a grind. The top 14 is a meat grinder and it's week on week on week, month on month on month, almost the whole year round. International rugby on top of that. And it's pretty full on being a rugby player. It, I mean, it's a great sport, lots of upsides, but what an opportunity. And you see, I... As I understand it, Lewis Rees Summit's inst uh, Instagram DMs are um, pretty wild as it is in the UK. His phone will be blowing up while he's in America. He's a, a young 
He's a young man. He's going to have a great time uh, in America. Let's just say that. And I think the chances are he will come back in a couple of years' time, maybe 2026, just ahead of the 2027 World Cup. He'll be refreshed. He'll be hungry. He'll have had a great experience. And he could bring an army of American sports fans back to rugby union. And doesn't the sport need that? In terms of his actual chances of making it in the NFL... Oh, by the way, before I get into that, look at this. This is typical of the stories that I've seen today. This is the Telegraph in the UK who had the headline, Lewis Reece Samit turns his back on rugby to join NFL. That is just such a negative framing of this story. Why, why is the glass always half empty with rugby? Turns his back on rugby? That makes it sound like it's snide. Or, or, or like negative. No, he's a 22 year old bloke who's had an amazing career already, who's gonna go and try something that could be an incredible experience and may pay off. Not turning his back on rugby, he's giving something a go and rugby should send him off with best wishes and then welcome him back when he does come back, an even bigger star. But in terms of his actual chances of becoming an NFL star, I, I, I describe it as remote. Just to sort of have a think about where he might fit into an NFL team, I think wide receiver is the obvious choice because of his elite speed. And wide receiver, the average height of a wide receiver in the NFL is six foot two and around 90 kgs, 14 stone, four pounds, 200 pounds, depending on what, what, what unit of measurement you want to uh, you go with. Lewis Rees Summit is around that size, six foot two and a half, 98 kg. He's actually quite a big man and can shift. So he's kind of prototypical of that wide receiver size. So I think that's probably his best route to it. Running back potentially as well. They're about average about five foot 11 and just over 15 stone. So Lewis Rees Summit, you'd think would have to bulk up a little bit to become a, a, an effective NFL running back at his height. He would have to be bigger than he is. I think most likely is he could make a special teams specialist, maybe a kick or a punt returner. Usually the person that does that is the fourth or fifth choice wide receiver. So I'm thinking wide receiver uh, for, for Lewis Reese Summit. Uh, but just to give you an idea of just how hard this will be for him to actually make it onto the sideline suited up for an NFL team on a Sunday for a match. I would say if, if this man manages to pull on an NFL uni uniform for a league match, it will dwarf anything he could possibly achieve in rugby union. The odds are stacked so much against him. The chances of doing it are so remote. It would be remarkable, truly, truly remarkable. To put it in context, America, what a country of 350 million people. And the people that Lewis Rees Summit would be competing with will have played American football their whole life. And in, the case, in many of them, they have the motivation of trying to make a better life for their family um, because it's their sport and American football, the NFL is their, they perceive as their one shot of an education and of earning money that can change their life. And that is the story for many an NFL player. And the, the competition is so, so tough to put, to, to put a bit more flesh on the bones. 99.8% of high school seniors, so this is people that play American football all the way through and play at the senior year in high school, 99.8% of them never play any professional NFL football. So out of every thousand players, you might get two, and that might just be people that get onto a practice squad or play one down and then never again. Of the people that go on and play at college, which is already a tiny, tiny number of people versus the whole number of people that started playing American football at a younger age, less than 2% of them play any level of professional NFL American football. And to put it more in context, so there are around 9,000 American football players that play at NCAA college level. And of those 9,000 players, only 300 of them will be invited to the combine to be assessed by the coaches ahead of an NFL draft. So the, the, the odds are so remote anyway. And then you layer on top the fact that it's, it's like trying to speak another language. It's like speaking English today and then trying to speak French tomorrow. It's pads, playbooks, blocking lines. It's, it's so different and so technical that it's, um, I, I won't say impossible because it has been done, but near impossible. And as I say, it would be remarkable if he, if he makes it onto an NFL roster. But the, I suppose the difference between Lewis Rees Summit and say Christian Wade, one of the 
uh, names that's tried to do it in the past. It's Christian Wade tried to do it when he was 28, 29. Lewis Rees Summit is 22. So he's got time on his side. In terms of players that have actually managed to make this transition, Jordan Melata might be the, the best example. What an incredible success he has been in the NFL. Uh, he was a rugby league and a bit of rugby union player. Six foot eight, 166 kgs. To put that in context, he's a good 20 odd kilos heavier than Will Skelton. He's one of those body types that just actually is perfect for the NFL. He, he couldn't drag that body around a rugby pitch for 80 minutes. So what an incredible success. He's just finished his fifth season with the Philadelphia Eagles. He's been to a Super Bowl. He, um, yeah, it, the season's just finished because they lost in the wild card match, but incredible specimen and an amazing success story. I would also say that Jared Hayne was an amazing success story as well. Unlike Jordan Maylata, Jared Hayne has only had one season in the NFL with the San Francisco 49ers in which he, well, he played, played featured in eight games and just a handful of receptions, punt returns, that kind of thing. But that alone is, for the reasons that I said about the odds of making it, that is an incredible success. Jared Hayne is a freak to have done that. And he is a similar size and shape to Lewis Reese Summit. So again, that special teams kick returner. He was also a running back. So potentially that might be the way. And running back is what Christian Wade was uh, when he went to the NFL on the international player pathway as well, just like... Lewis Reese Samet is doing. He was on the practice squad for the Buffalo Bills for a few seasons, never made it onto the active roster, never involved in a league match on a Sunday, but he was involved in a preseason friendly and with his very first down in American football, scored a touchdown. And again, to put it in context, the fact that Christian Wade pulled on that uniform and wore it and ran out on an American football pitch and was handed the ball, an incredible success story. Just to have done that is truly remarkable. When you think about Lewis Rees Summit, what is his superpower? It's his speed. But I just want to emphasise that Lewis Rees Summit has got freakish speed on a rugby pitch. It is not freakish speed on an NFL pitch. This is Tyreek Hill, formerly of the Kansas City Chiefs, now of the Miami Dolphins. One of the best, certainly one of the fastest wide receivers in the game. One of the best wide receivers in the game. Also a specialist kick returner which again is a role that I think Lewis Rees Summit could occupy if he were to make it. Tyreek Hill has a 100 metre time clocked of 10.17 seconds. Just incredible speed. Like international athletics could be an actual sprinter speed. So Lewis Rees Summit is rapid on a rugby pitch. The speed that Lewis Rees Summit ha has is not remarkable in the NFL. I cannot wait to see how he gets on. I think it's an incredible story brewing and I think rugby should get behind him and be positive and not think of this as another nail in, in rugby's coffin. This could be an incredible thing to happen for the sport. What do you reckon? Tell me in the comments. If you get value from the channel, if you appreciate the content, give the video a thumbs up, hit subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.